Hello, this is Chris Charles with WBA. In this video, we're going to be looking at input boxes. Now, input boxes are similar to message boxes. Now, the difference is, is a message box has a yes or a no, or an OK or a cancel. A input box, box, you are actually asking the user to give you some data. So we're going to go ahead and dig, dig right in. I do have my Visual Basic editor open. If you don't have that open, you can hit Alt F11, and that will get that going. We are going to first thing you got to do is you got to add a module. We're going to call this sub list box stuff. Didn't want to call it list box because it could give me an error. Uh, if, when it went to compile, it's like, hey, I, I know what comp, I know what list box are, but this isn't one. It's a macro. Um, anyway, uh, typically what you're going to do as we kind of get back to a list box. Typically, what you want to do is you want to you're going to be passing that data um, from that input box. And so I'm going to just do a variable called inbox. I'm not going to declare it or anything. Uh, is it inbox is equal to list box. equal to input box. It's funny, when you spell stuff wrong, it doesn't work. Okay, uh, this box are in forms. Um, so, input box, the prompt, so this is gonna be what you're asking for. So, what you're going to do in this case is we're just gonna ask for a number. Uh, please enter a number, okay? Please enter a number, title, number please. It's pretty exciting. Default. Now, uh, if we wanted to put in a default number of 10, put that in. And we're going to go the X, X and Y position. That's basically where you want it to show up in the screen. I typically don't use that uh, just as a just because I've never found it to be that useful. But if you did want it to be in the upper right hand corner or the lower left hand corner or the center, you can actually put in your uh, X position and your Y position and move that around. Uh, I've never found it to be that useful, so don't use it. Um, other people might. All right, so now message box. So I'm gonna hit F8, F8. We've got our message box. It says, please enter a number. Uh, it says number please right there for the title and it puts in the default. Now notice we have two options. We have okay and cancel. So we're gonna click okay. It's gonna go to end sub. Um, it's funny, I don't have my uh, locals window open. I typically have my locals window open because I wanna know what gets passed over. So we have passed in a string of 10. So now we could actually do something with that. So we could go range C, what is that, C9 is equal to inbox. And actually, if we wanted to, we, we could actually send that straight across. But there are some reasons why you wouldn't do that, and we'll get into that in kind of further videos. So if I hit OK, now if we run this, I hit F a five or a hit play, please enter a number. I'm going to hit nine. I'm going to hit go, and it's going to put that in my range. So now let's let's try this with cancel. So um, we're going to come in here. I'm going to put in nine, and I'm going to hit cancel, and it's going to pass in a blank. Um, and so that needs to be taken into consideration when you're doing uh, when you're doing input boxes. So if we went through that again, we're going to F8, F8. We're going to go six. And if we hit cancel, you'll notice the inbox comes in as blank and blank, and then you have to do something with that. So that is a quick intro to the input box. Make sure that you subscribe to the Everyday VBA channel. Make sure if you like this video, like it as well. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please those, leave those in the comments. And I hope you enjoyed.